have I got in my mouth? Huh? What's this? So Bailey already has decided to pull all of the laundry from the basket and we've got his toys there too. So already making a mess this morning and managed to find some kind of wrapper. Don't know where this is from, but I'll let him crunch on that for a bit. But Chris has got him ready for his walk. He's got his little harness on. I'm gonna take him for a walk in a minute. I'm just gonna have my tea first and then we'll go. I've done my hair and makeup and I've kind of been doing my hair a little bit different recently I've been doing it in this kind of like half up do and it's kind of like flicked out So if you want to see how I created this look you can head over to my Instagram and it's over on my IGTV I literally do it in under 10 minutes. It's so easy, but because my hair is grown out I really need it cut and I keep saying this but I'm really contemplating getting Chris to cut it because it's becoming desperate times now but yeah I feel like this kind of hairstyle fits with the length it's at at the minute and also need to do my roots so that's kind of something that I feel like I might need to just DIY it at home but I've just found this top from Silks and Stars it's the cutest brand if you guys don't know or follow them already you need to because they do really sweet kind of like vintage style pieces but such good quality like the quality of this top it isn't cheap until it's really well made and then I've partnered it with these jeans that have just arrived from Zara and I am so happy with them I'm just putting it out there I hardly wear jeans I find jeans just aren't comfortable like people that wear jeans all the time props to you and if they fit you great that's fine but for me I find it really hard to find a pair of jeans that actually fit me and are comfortable but I have come through guys this pair from Zara so I need to show it you because you know when you're really feeling your outfit like I haven't done my hair and makeup for a few days put this outfit on I'm just feeling good right now so I need to so show you. these are the jeans and they're the kind of like slouchy balloon style and then they come in tapered here and rolled up and these are perfect for me because I'm short in height I would say I'm like five three five two these are so great in the length and they're just so comfortable it feels like I'm honestly wearing joggers I am definitely gonna live in these and then at the back it's got this kind of little Zara sign here they've got kind of like a vintage feel to it honestly I'm absolutely loving them and I've just put this belt with them and the top from Silks and Stars and it's just an easy casual outfit and then also wearing in my Chloe sandals absolutely love these and they just fit perfectly with this out and they just match perfectly with this outfit because it's cream and black so this is kind of like a go-to outfit that I feel like I'm going to wear a lot and style these jeans in so many different ways like with a body with a cardigan, with jumpers, with shirts, like you can put so much stuff with these jeans and make them dressed up, dressed down, absolutely love them. So these are a size 8 if I remember rightly, I wanted to make sure I kind of had like room in them. They are a little bit big hence why I've put the belt with them, so maybe I could do with a 6 but I just wanted them really comfy and not tight to me and that's exactly what they are. So these are definitely my favourite pair of jeans, I'll link them down below in the description so you can shop them. I've also had some new in pieces come from nasty girl so i'm gonna show you them but before i do i need to make some lunch because i'm so okay so i feel like the lighting's really bad it's always not the greatest here in the kitchen because the light's behind me instead of in front of me but i'm gonna make shakshuka for lunch i share this all the time on my instagram it is probably one of my favorite recipes and i literally cook it i'd say a few times a week i absolutely love it it's normally kind of like i'll go to weekend brunch that i cook but we're both hungry and it's lunchtime and I only had a shake this morning so I thought this would be really good and also you can have like toasted bread with it which we normally do but I'm gonna do it today without bread because I'm trying to cut out carbs where I can this week. Yeah I'm gonna show you how I make it because it's actually so easy to do it's so yummy 
and it's a really good alternative like i said for not having carbs and just something different to try out so i've got my big pan let's find it so you just need like a pack so you just need kind of like a big pan like this and a lid that goes with it because you're going to be baking the eggs i moved you here because it's easier to show you so the first thing you do is cut up a red onion so just take off the skin and then i'm just going to chop this up really finely and add this to the pan with olive olive oil extra virgin olive oil and also a little bit of garlic to start off the base of it and just give it some flavor i've cut up the onion i've literally just added some oil to the pan that is just heating up and then once that's pretty hot i'm going to add in the onion and some garlic but we actually use this garlic it's the easy or oh, what's it called very lazy sorry chopped garlic and it's so much easier so i just put a spoonful of that in once the onion goes in it'll be fine to do it now i'm sure swirl this around like a spoonful of garlic in. So I've just let the onions and the garlic cook for a bit and I've just now added in chopped tomatoes. So I literally just used this tin and add this in and then I'm just going to let this simmer for a bit and add in the spinach and seasoning I'm just going to place you back on here because it's so much easier to cook I'm really trying not to get the sauce as well on my new jeans so in here I'm going to put some oregano I swear I put this in like most of my recipes I absolutely love it put some of that in and also some I mean, you don't have to put this in, but I just think it gives it a little bit of a kick. Just some chilli powder. So I just sprinkle a little bit of that in because you don't want to go too much. And also some salt and pepper, obviously. And then I'm going to add in now the spinach. We've only added got two eggs i normally always do this with four eggs but it'll just have to do for today then add in some spinach to this i'm gonna put in quite a bit because i'm not having bread and we only have two eggs like i said so i want to kind of fill it spinach out. is cooked that looks like a pretty good base to me so i'm going to make kind of two holes in the sauce and add in the eggs and voila that is done as you can see, the eggs are going to be quite runny, which I like. So obviously when you sort of slice into it, the yolk just goes all in it and it's so yummy. So this is pretty much done. I'm going to turn this off and serve it up. making us a coffee and I literally nearly had a heart attack I emptied the coffee tray and a whole I don't even know if it's cockroach wood louse what is it came screwing here and then it's got into here I didn't get it in time and I'm freaking out because it's basically living in there and we can't get it out it's like stuck in here I feel like we just need to get a new coffee machine is there what is that? It's not even focusing. Quick, get it. All right, stay calm. Stay calm. Oh my god, it's going to the bananas. It's gone. Yes. Woo. Make another one. I'm not making another one. This is it. Like, it's like slowly dying. Oh my god, I can't believe that was in our machine. I feel sick. <gasps> Still moving. 
So I actually had a recent order come in from Nasty Girl. I've already kind of taken the pieces out of the packaging because I was too excited to try them on. So I got this tea and I feel like these are really in trend at the minute. They're kind of like shoulder style tees. So I'm going to try this on to see how it fits because I was going to style it with this skirt that I've got. But this one is a shorter length and it's got the slit here so I thought I would give it a go and I love this colour. It's kind of like a champagne-y colour. So of course every order I do at the minute I have to get some kind of comfy wear. Although I've got this and it's got like yellow marks on the oak which is not good. Um, but yeah, anyway I've got this jumper. It says Oakland. I just wanted like a big cosy jumper to match these joggers and the reason i ordered these joggers they are kind of like tapered here at the bottom they don't go in cinch they don't go cinched in if that makes sense um so i thought these would be a good fit so i'm going to try them but i thought the grays would match but they're kind of like a little bit of a different gray this one's darker this one's lighter so i thought this would make kind of like a little tracksuit so i only got the four pieces but i will try them on and see how they look so this is the t-shirt and it actually came to like here the length of it and I've just kind of tucked it in a bit more because that's how I wanted it, this kind of like shoulder cut but I've just literally quickly tucked it under as well like I haven't properly styled it but I kind of like it with these slouchy jeans that I showed you earlier from Zara. I feel like this is quite a cool look and then obviously with the belt, I took the belt off after my lunch because I kind of got some food here of course, first day wearing them and I stained them but yeah, I think this top actually looks quite cool with this. I saw so this is the skirt on, this is the length of it, it's a little bit longer than I wanted so I feel like if I was to like tuck the skirt up a bit underneath, I haven't tucked this top in properly with it. I could kind of make it a little bit shorter. I'm on the shorter side. I feel like everything comes a little bit long on me. But then I feel like I don't want the split to come up too high. But actually, I feel like this just looks quite casual, kind of played down with a little T. Obviously, if I, again, took this in properly, I'm literally just quickly throwing it on to show you guys. But I think this would look actually really nice together. These are the joggers on. I like how this kind of, like, rolls over and ties. Although, I'm just not sure on the fit of them. I feel like they're quite, like, tight around here. And then they're not too flattering on the bottom. Like, I don't feel like they're the most flattering joggers I've ever had. But, yeah, I think these are going to go back. I feel like if these were a really good fit, they could work. But I like the rollover. I'm just not a fan of how they fit around here. And I feel like I could like them a little bit more high-waisted. This is the jumper. I absolutely love it. It's very, like, 90s vintage vibe. I feel like I'm saying that a lot in this vlog. Obviously, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the trend. But yeah, this jumper is just an easy kind of throw-on jumper. Definitely wear this a lot lounging around the house. And if you're out and wear this with some kind of like cycling shorts and some cute converse or something. But yeah, I did want it to match the joggers. But as you can see, this is a dark grey. This is a light grey. So they kind of don't go. But I guess you could wear them together because this has got this sort of white going through it. But yeah, absolutely love the jumper. I'm pretty sure I got it in a size small. I think it comes small medium large and as you can see it's quite oversized and I always turn the sleeves back. So I've ended up just putting this jumper on with my white joggers and it is just so comfy and cozy. I'm just sat at my desk catching up on some emails and doing some work. I've got the little one in here in the office and he's crying at himself. I don't know if you can hear him because he can see himself in the mirror. It's you you nana. Come here. Come here. What's this? What's this? he is he was basically he can't get over a mirror like he doesn't understand it's himself anyway as i was saying i'm just catching up with some work on my desk and then i'm going to do some editing of some content that i shot today and then we're going to go to the shop get some groceries for tonight's dinner i'm making a rogan josh lamb curry it is so good i made it ages ago and we thought we'll do it again such a little wiggly bomb today so i'll put him back down so yeah, that's tonight's plan. And also, if you haven't already, on BBC, there's a program called Normal People. It is so good. I'm hooked. I'm staying up till like 1am, past 1am every night watching it. I'm pretty much towards the end. I think I have like two episodes left. I'm basically hooked on that. So that's something good to watch if you're wanting to watch something. I'm also watching Killing Eve at the minute, but I thought the last episode wasn't that great. Um, but yeah, that's my update of TV, life and work. So. Okay. 
passion is strong enough Hold on a little bit closer, babe Let's see if I can warm you up Oh, babe, snuggle, babe my favorite lunch recipe is this squash salad i feel like i've shared this on my youtube before so you basically cook the squash with olive oil and the red pesto and obviously season it and then after it's cooked like this you just kind of smush it up and then he's done the salad on the side with avo and mozzarella honestly it is so yummy put this all together with a bit of olive oil and red wine vinegar and that is going to be our healthy little lunch today after our little naughty snack last night so i'm going to devour this and then catch up with some work So I feel like I've had a bit of a later start to the day today and I actually woke up early and me and Chris walked Bailey really early this morning we got a coffee which was really nice and I'll walk a takeout coffee um, I've done a HIIT workout and a run today so I've been quite productive this morning it's just in terms of this vlog you probably haven't seen much because I've been doing so much work kind of behind the scenes like I had a zoom meeting it lasted like an hour and I've just been catching up on like emails and stuff so I've just finally had my shower, I'm gonna have some lunch, blow dry my hair and then I've literally slicked it straight back because I'm just kind of having like a comfy day. Don't at me, I'm in the same jumper as yesterday. It's just so comfy and cosy and I just wanted a chill day today. So I've slicked my hair back, just wearing my comfies and basically gonna get shit done. But I've just had an amazing delivery that's just arrived at my doorstep, which I need to share with you guys because I kind of opened the lid, peeped inside, and it looks amazing. It's from Bare Minerals, so I thought I'd share that with you. This big box from Bare Minerals, and oh my god, they have sent the prettiest flowers. And Chris actually brought me flowers last week, and they've obviously died, and my vase looks so sad in the living room now without flowers in there. So this is going to go perfectly in there and just brighten up the room. These are so beautiful and so lovely of them to send. And what else have we got in this big box? So this is for the launch of their new Hydra Smoothing Lipsticks Which is really exciting because my lips are so dry at the minute and There's a little mail so I'll open that in a minute I'll show you what's in this box first This is the Smoothing Lipsticks and oh my god they've literally sent every shade This is just amazing so I feel like this is probably going to be my one It's called Insight just because it looks quite like pink and nudie so let's have a look at this if it focuses oh my god this color definitely going to trial these out and i need all the hydration at the minute so like i said my lips for some reason have been getting so dry and obviously i haven't really been going anywhere exciting but look at all these colors this is insane and then we've also got this little package which is gonna be so perfect for traveling and putting stuff in let's see what we've got in here oh my god yes there's new brushes i always use their brushes and mine have gone so dirty from using them so many times and i needed to give them a clean so the fact they've sent some new ones is amazing i've got some products in here i absolutely love their concealer and this is it the bare skin one sorry i'm not sure why it's just not focusing today there we go so this is the bare skin concealer it's my favorite it's so good and brightening so i'm so happy they've sent that because i've actually ran out and then this eyeshadow palette i have their copper one so this neutral one i'm sure is going to be gorgeous i love kind of like nudes golds on my eyes i don't really venture much from that oh wow look at these colors they are stunning got some gold some nudes literally what i was just saying in terms of the colors i use so i'm definitely going to have a play around with this so sorry i feel like the camera is just not wanting to play with me today and focus but we've got lots of goodies in here and then I feel like there's stuff underneath as well. So let's take this box out. Oh, wow. They have sent a little marble tray. And that is so weird because 
I was looking on Amazon last week for one of these because I love them for kind of like flat lays and putting products on. So this is amazing. I've got my own little slate here and then a little pot to put the makeup brushes in. How sweet. They've literally spoilt me and all of these different products in here. So this is like their hero one, the powder that goes into foundation. So they've absolutely spoiled me. We've got lip liners. So this is just such an amazing gift. I'm gonna go and put these flowers into some water and in the living room. But I'm excited to try these all out. you are huh look how fluffy and clean you are he's had a bath and a brush and he just looks so cute he's ready for a night of cuddles on the sofa <laughs> he kills me look at his butt turn him around <laughs> where is it where's your fluffy butt fluffy butt <laughs> so i'm not sure if you can hear the dishwasher in the background but I've got the Jim Malone candle on can have a cozy night on the sofa and I put the flowers in this vase from Layered Lounge. You would have seen it in my latest homeware haul and they just look so pretty and they fit perfectly and they just really kind of brighten up this room and it just looks so nice with some fresh flowers in here. So I'm gonna have cuddles on the sofa with Bailey, all fluffy and clean and catch up on some TV. Just wait. Let me drive you crazy, my cuddle baby Wanna stay 